the theme preview section will um, give visitors a glimpse of some of the other themes uh, that are on sale, while the testimonial section, well, it's just going to show quotes from existing customers. So let's go ahead and build these two sections. Before we move on to the theme preview, let's actually uh, add something to our hero unit. And that is a, a rectangle that has no borders. It's white. And it's just going to serve as a background for that section. And I'm doing this just in case we need to add a color on it later on. So I'm going to call this section BG or background, I'm going to push it backwards. So it's the last one in our uh, later stack here. And then I'm going to bring it up and just resize it like this. until it is 60 pixels from this uh, navigation uh, arrow here. And speaking of the navigation arrow, let's actually create a symbol out of this, we'll say nav down light. So nav down on a light background. All right. Now let's also add some sort of separator between the hero or the top part of our website and the content below it. And for that, grab the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle that's 1440 by 10 pixels. Align it in the center, get rid of the border, and the fill color will be the same one as our text. So 4F, 4F, 4F. Now simply bring it up like this, and let's call it Hero Separator. And again, we'll bring it into the hero section. All right, now let's move on to the theme preview. And for that, we're going to start with uh, another section background. But this time, we're going to put it in its own group called preview. And the color that we'll be using for this is F8, F8, F8. Okay, let's uh, align it properly. And let's uh, create a new style called light BG. Okay, in here, we're going to start with another uh, navigation item. It's going to be an arrow up this time. Uh, we'll call it nav up. Same style, black 20%, 15 pixels in height, create a symbol called nav up light center aligned and distance from the top or margin is 60 pixels. Now below that, we're going to have some text, we're going to enter the number of themes that we currently have available. So in our case, let's do like 12. Let's do the text color Futura heavy 56 for font size, align it in the center, and create a new text style called h2 center. Okay, 60 pixels from the nav. And then under that, we're going to create some cards and each card will have information about a specific theme. Now to create the cards, simply start with a rectangle. And for this, let's actually use our grid. And we'll be using a, a grid size or a grid number column number of three. So the size will be 555. Now the style for this will be borrowed from our header here. So simply copy the style and simply paste that in. So we have white with a one pixel border and that shadow here. Now place this at 120 pixels from the text above. And then we'll start with uh, an image, basically. Now for this, before we load in the image, we need to create a mask for it. So simply create a rectangle that's the same size as our uh, container here, that's 555. And for height, we're going to do a half that value. So we're going to create a two to one aspect ratio. And we're just going to round it up here to 278. Just like that. All right, uh, let's properly align this inside. And this will be the mask. And this will be the card BG. Let's also create a new style here called card BG. 
All right, let's bring in the image. Okay, let's also resize this to 555. Position it like this. Select these two. So the image and the mask go to layer uses mask. Now we can actually uh, use the image inside and move it however we want. It's going to stay within the boundaries of that mask. So I'm just going to keep it like this. Now, further down, we're going to add the category the item belongs to, the name of the item, and then the release date, and the price somewhere on the right side here. And since we'll be, you know, having issues with the images here, because they are too long, we can actually uh, go inside the image and we can trim it to just what we need here. So 200. All right, let's create a text here that says something like corporate. Let's say that this is our uh, category here. For the color, we're going to use the muted text. We're going to use Futura book. Um, size is going to be 16. And we're going to space it out a little bit. So one character for spacing here. And this will actually uh, create a new text style and we'll call it h6 left. This will position at 60 from the left and double uh, or triple the 30 or 90 from the top. Then we're going to create a new text. Let's call this fireworks. I will use the text color. And this will be an h3 basically. We don't have a style for it yet. So it's going to be heavy font size 40. Okay, let's uh, put this at 10 pixels from the uh, h6 there. And we'll um, call this h3 left. And actually, I think we can bring it up just like that. So it's actually flush against the uh, text above. I think that looks good. Um, now let's create a uh, thick HR or a thick separator that's longer. So grab the rectangle tool, select thick HR from this five pixel radius, make sure it's five pixel in height. And what we're going to do here is we're going to set its uh, width to be the width of this entire card minus the right, the left and right paddings. So the padding is 60 pixels. And this is 555. So we'll do 555 minus 120. And then align it properly. Check the margins. And then position it at 90 pixels from the text above. Let's make this card a little bit bigger because underneath we're going to add some text. And the text is going to say something like June 12th, 2015. Use the regular text color here. Uh, the text will be TISA Pro, regular italic, 20. Let's put it at 30 from the top, 60 from the left. And let's resize this so it has 60 pixels of uh, bottom padding like that. And then let's also create the price here. Let's say 45. That will be right aligned and we'll position it like that. All right. So that is one product card. Now let's create two more in exactly the same style. But before we do that, let's actually group all of these together and do a little bit of cleanup here on the layers. So this all of these is product card one, and let's create a symbol out of it. So we'll be able to use it in multiple locations later on, and then simply copy this. Yeah, create a new instance of it, align it properly with the grid here, you should have about 75 76 pixels distance from uh, from the one on the left, select no symbol there. So you can make changes to it without affecting the initial one. And the first thing we're going to do is change the image, something like that. Let's um, change the category here to portfolio and the name 
to grid. And then let's change the date as well, and maybe the price. Okay, now take this, this will be product card two. create a symbol out of it. And then let's create one more. Let's actually resize this, we're going to need a lot more space here. All right, uh, so let's uh, create one more. I'm going to fast forward through this because it's exactly the same process. One mention here, we need to place these at 90 pixels distance from each other. Okay, and finally, let's create uh, another card here, but this time it will just be a call to action, basically. Uh, so we're going to duplicate our product card three, just uh, put it in the right position here, remove the symbol, and let's call this see all themes card. So we're going to remove the image. We're going to remove this text here, this text, this, and this. We're just going to leave this and we'll say see all themes. And optionally, we can add a small arrow. This is again taken from font awesome. And it looks something like this. So font awesome regular 20. And I'm just going to go into layer uh, type, sorry, convert text to outlines. So now we have a shape instead of a text object. All right. So and this will be used to get access to the actual shop or portfolio. Well, with that done, let's uh, go ahead and add a symbol. And we're going to add the nav down light, center it, we're going to push it up 60 pixels top margin, and we're going to resize this. So it has a uh, 60 pixel bottom padding, just like that. All right, so let's, uh, let's check it out. See what we got. Looks pretty good. Let's uh, bring this into the preview. And now let's move on to building the customer area where the testimonials. And for that, I'm simply going to uh, duplicate the preview because we have a lot of the elements that we're simply going to use from uh, from the preview, we're going to rename this to customers. Yeah, we're going to remove all of these cards. Uh, the text is going to say, let's say 5000 plus customers. This will actually be another type of background, this time a dark one. That's 27343E. And let's actually add that to our palette, we'll call it additional one. Or actually, no, let's call it dark BG. The text inside, we're gonna create a new color for it. That is F A E F D F. And this will be H2 center on the dark background. So we're gonna create a new style H2 center dark. And then for the navigation items here, we're going to switch them up. We're going to change its symbol here. And we're going to use white 20% instead of black 20%. Right. So this will be nav up dark. And we're going to create a symbol. And the one below. Let's see if we can find it here. Remove the symbol, make it white. And it's going to be da nav down dark. And again, create the symbol. Perfect. All right, now inside, we're just going to place a bunch of testimonials. And for that, we're going to start with a text that we're going to style as Tisa Pro. We're going to use the same color as our header here. So F A E F D F. And let's actually um, create a new entry here called additional two. So for your reference, this is how our color palette looks now. And then we're going to use the same color here. Uh, it's going to be Tisa Pro regular italic. And for size, uh, we plan to use about three columns here. So for size is going to be 341 in width. Okay, now let's paste in some text. All right, let's create a new text style called block quote dark BG. Let's put that at 120 from the text above. Let's uh, align it properly with the grid here. 
So it's actually at 345 width. And below that, we need to put the testimonial author. And for that, we're going to say something like James, developer at 123 Media. Now, this text will actually use Futura as its typeface. It's going to be book, and it's going to be 16. Now, for the color, let's use like a blue color, and that is 81AACD. And let's add that to our palette and call it additional three. And this create a new text style and we'll call it site. Align it properly on the left and put it at 30 pixels from the uh, testimonial above. Now, what I'm going to do is simply create five more testimonials. I added a, a few more uh, testimonials here. And one thing that I want to change here is add a little bit of spacing um, between the characters of the site. So I'll just put one there and um, uh, the rest of the uh, instances will be changed automatically. Now, simply uh, all we got to do now is move our navigation up 60 there and resize this accordingly. So that's minus 49. There we go. And yeah, that's basically it for the theme preview and for customers. All right, looking good so far, we've completed nearly half of our homepage. Coming up next, we'll uh, complete the other half, which will contain sections for uh, support, about us, and the footer.